What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Light Lucifer and Prince, coming at you once again. I would like to share this public service message with you. Are you tired of being killed by police? Are you tired of protests? Are you tired of your local eateries being burned down? Are you tired of them talking about defunding police departments who are funded actually by the federal government? Are you tired of individuals protesting peacefully? at a time of turmoil and a time of war. If all these things apply to you, I would suggest you do one thing. I would suggest you not buy into the propaganda campaign and remove yourself from fucking voter registration. That's the simple suggestion, people. See, there's a larger political agenda that at work today in this so-called country. It's been at work since the, the days of Martin Luther King Jr. It's been at work since the days of you know, Brother Michael Max, rest in peace. I have much respect for that, brother. Um, it has been at work since the days of W.E.B. Du Bois, who was a Boulay member. It's been at work for a very long time, people. It's always been the so-called agenda against people of color, people who are melanated, I should say. And what we don't realize is that we have been misled by a population of people who are a select few and choice minority who wish to further wedge us into a tyrannical and an illegal system. Now, the remedies here, the hardware is here, and those people who have the hardware already, you already know, you talked to me probably in some previous weeks, you already know, you already know what page I'm on. And those who don't, contact me ASAP. We'll get it done. However, most people are very disillusioned to believe that your vote really counts. First off, according to their constitution. According to their constitution, their Amendment 27 declares that particularly the Electoral College is the only decisive body to regard itself to a limited DC corporation that according to their constitution says that they should govern no more than 10 miles square. If you reside outside of the D.C. Corporation, private environment known as Washington, D.C., private corporation circa 1871, your vote doesn't count. <laughs> Period. According to their law. You're being bought and sold, people. When you make an election, you make a pledge to be utilized in a federal corporate election. Meaning, you are going to be used as collateral. All of this stuff is happening in 2020 during the census year. This is not by accident, people. This is not by accident. Most people get it misconstrued and they believe that I have to go vote because it. this is this is getting too crazy for me out here. Trust me. Ordo ab chaos means order out of chaos. I have to start shit in order to get to induce you to produce. Unemployment rates skyrocket. Violence, turmoil, political chaos, coronavirus is the cherry on top. What do you got? You have the people of the masses in need of a demigod who isn't going to save you from shit. That's a fact. Now, anyone that has any ounce of competence will know what I'm saying is true. Anyone that's disillusioned, please exit to the left. Call, coffee for agents? I'm sorry, I don't do that no more on my channel. <laughs> Straight. But what I'm telling you is a very significant truth. You're being bought and sold, people. And they're going to keep doing it to you for so long. And they're going to keep doing it to you. And they're going to keep maneuvering you. They're going to keep manipulating you. And they're going to keep, you know, putting these slogans, campaigns, these movements. First and foremost, let's talk about it. Black Lives Matter is not owned by people of color. That's not an organic movement. You didn't start it. It was funded by George Soros. People who've done their research know what I'm talking about. People who haven't done their research, please have a seat and bring your notepad. Because the truth is, you are involving yourself in political ideology that you know no shit about. You don't. And because most people that are involved in these movements are more reactive than proactive, then guess what happens? I can induce you to produce. Count yourself in census. Make, in vote, make a vote for a democratic 
so-called candidate, which if people really did their historical research, you will find out that people of color, we've never even involved ourselves in politics in the first place because we never had to associate with a party. The Democratic Party was started by the Ku Klux Klan. That's a primary fact. Do your research. Look it up. Don't take my word for it. And you have to understand why the symbols of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are an elephant on the Republican side and a donkey on the Democratic side. Because according to their documentation, it's supposed to be a republic according to their constitution. And if you believe it's a democracy, well, the nickname for a donkey is a jackass. <laughs> so you got a lot of jackasses out there who get involved in these socio-political schemes and don't realize that they're pledging themselves as collateral. You people are basically paying these people for more than what you're actually going to bargain for. The particulars in which you have to put on the voter registration form are particulars that have to regard itself to corporations. If you wish to be a corporation and vote in a federal election, please cut this video off. Exit to the left. Now, if you wish to take your own responsibility into your own hands, please contact me and put in the subject line, voter registration. If indeed you wish for me to contact you personally, which I have no problem doing because this is what I do all fucking day long. Please leave your phone number. Serious inquiries only. And agents, don't contact me. Because irrespective of what you may believe or what you may think, you can't beat this. This is rock solid. This is adamantine, as, as a matter of fact. And you can't get around the consensus of how this works. You can try. You know, you can try to inform these people about what this documentation is. It's perfectly fine. You know, but I know who you are. I'm not dumb. You know, not stupid. Mama didn't raise a fool. And it is my birthday month. So let's just nip that in the bud. But long story short, let's also get down to this consensus too, people. Stop being misled by propaganda campaigns and stop getting so emotional about everything that's presented before you. We watch TV. We grew up watching Hollywood. You know, we've we, we, we seen uh, Predator, you know, when Arnold Schwarzenegger was shooting a 50 cal. Ain't no fucking way you're going to shoot a 50 cal that's supposed to be mounted to a helicopter. So we grew, we grew up with the concept that things that are fictional can often be real. Don't get misled, people, because Arnold Schwarzenegger cannot shoot a 50 cal. <laughs> That's supposed to be mounted to a helicopter. But we saw it. The movies conveyed the message that it could be done. Anybody that's my age know what the fuck I'm talking about. So you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that old school predator. I ain't talking about that, 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 that new school CGI concept. I'm talking about that old school predator. You know what I'm saying? And what people don't also understand is that you're being led through the woods. And guess what? They're never telling you that there's trees there. It is what it is. Responsible, competent adults, please contact me. And for the infantile uh, state of mind that's out there, the political aggressors and the false flaggers and the CIA operatives and the FBI informants, all of you people, we know who you are. You can't hide. I know who you are. You can't hide. You can try. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are. And the reality is I've done my research over a period of Quite a long time. I'm pretty much over it. Pretty much over, close to about 12 years. And I did extensive research. As you can see, I have no life around me other than to do what I do. So I have nothing but time to study you, just like you study me. Exactly. So let's get that straight. And lastly, like I said before, people who are really serious and who want to actually be mature about their redemption, God take me. Know-it-alls is what it is. I don't debate. Because when two people argue, they are just two people who are arguing who don't know shit about what they're talking about. Facts prove over everything. And it's facts. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> I don't care what you say. You can say what you want. You can do what you want. But at the same token, if you want to be responsible in your own capacity, because I don't vote. You know, I never will vote. And I'll tell these people to your face, fuck you and your false election, because it's a corporate election. It's a corporate election for a private minority to use the public majority to pledge them as collateral. And yes, they're inducing you to produce. They don't give a damn how much they have to put propaganda out there to basically instill in you a sense of fear to make you feel like you have to rely on them. That's what it's all about. 
you know? See, nobody in the media can speak as candidly as I do because I'm, I'm a guy. I'm not that important. So I don't have to worry about Black Hawk helicopters coming to fly around me. <laughs> I'm not that important. I'm a guy in the shadows. And that's how you have to operate. Now, when you try to jump out there, and every time you try to have discussions with people about certain things, what do they do? Excuse me. <clears throat> I, ain't record, I ain't recording this video, so. <laughs> I'm human. Fuck that. <laughs> um, anyway, most people get emotional about these subjects. They do. They get emotional about them. Liberality, and then they put LGBT, and then they got to put this movie. Everybody has an idea, but nobody has an idea. Nobody has a solution. Everybody has a everybody has an emotional response, but nobody has a solution. See, that's what's wrong with most people in these political movements. Y'all all emotional, but y'all ain't got no fucking solution. That's your fucking problem. People who want to be responsible and come to the side of sovereignty and not citizenship, because only citizens vote. Contact me, email, get it done. Let's get it over with. Agents, we ain't voting. The few of us who know better. And you can keep the majority, but you can't have the minority. And fuck you. Straight up. Y'all take care. Peace. Stay tuned.